Hello everyone, my name is Darcy Palmer and I am here today to show you how to attach a Halliwell ventilator to an anesthesia machine. So the Halliwell ventilator is a standalone unit. It can actually be attached to any anesthesia machine. So there's a couple different things that we have to do first. The Halliwell ventilator requires its own oxygen source. So in addition to the oxygen source that is going to be for the anesthesia machine, the Halliwell ventilator has its own oxygen set up as well. So in order to attach that, you need this Y splitter that allows the oxygen to come into the anesthesia machine and then allows the oxygen hose for the Halliwell to be attached. So it's just a simple DISS connection. Attach it just like that. Now, what that means is that the oxygen that is coming in through the anesthesia machine is going to fill the bellows on the inside. And then the driving gas for the bellows of the Hallowell is on the outside. And that is why the Hallowell needs its own oxygen supply. It does require uh, to be plugged in, so you need an electrical outlet. And then there is a safety device on here that just attaches to either the inhalation or the exhalation one-way valve. This has to be present. Otherwise, as soon as you turn on the Hallowell, it's going to alarm and tell you that something is wrong. And then uh, we need to attach the patient and so really the goal of the ventilator is just to take the place of us giving a breath. How we give a manual breath to the patient is to squeeze the reservoir bag. So we can just simply remove the reservoir bag and attach the ventilator hose there. Now the Hallowell has its own pop-off valve and exhaust off the back. So in order for it to function appropriately, we shut the pop-off valve on the anesthesia machine and then we can remove the scavenge hose and attach it to the back of the Hallowell. And that's it. That's all the cords to set up the Hallowell.